Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Marshall Barnsley. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um I haven't done a video for for, for quite a while now, so I just thought I'd do um a, a little one for you. Just on a few anomalies that I have found um in another part of Cydonia. It's this isn't this isn't part of my main work that I've already published. This is um completely separate. The what I'm gonna do is just um point out some what I think are quite interesting anomalies just scattered about Mars and I'm just going to explain what I think they are and then I'm going to leave it to your good selves to decide on whether you think um, they're natural or, or the the, the being, um, they're being sculptured or manufactured by civilization that was once on Mars um, I'm just going to point out these anomalies to you. hopefully uh, the, the, the videos won't be too long. I don't think it's going to be as long as uh, my main Cydonia videos. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway. But anyway, to get back to to, um, to, to, to today's video, this is from uh, Cydonia Mensai, and I'll call it Greater Cydonia. It's not. Uh, Little Cydonia, which I've been showing you uh, over the, over the past twelve months, this is um, another another part of Cy Greater Cydonia. But um, this is the image that I'm just going to be looking at and studying with you. And I'll just point out the one or two uh, anomalous, interesting areas. Um, so this is the source. Okay. Uh, the the high rise uh, lunar planetary labo laboratory, um, and the title of it is a light tone lobe at base of valley in Cydonia Mensae. Now, a lobe apparently is um, is a glacial appendage of a continental glacier or ice sheet. Okay, so that gives you the official term. For, for what I'm about to show you um, and I think it was the GP2 that I downloaded but I've downloaded a few so sometimes I get confused about what I'm showing you but I think it was the the biggest one the map projected one so it's, it's up to yourselves anyway whether you, you know you want to look at all this and go and download it and have a look in, under a microscope uh, under a magnifying glass but um, this that's the source anyway there if you want, if you ever want to go to, and this is the image that I'm, I want to want to study with you guys. Now the first thing, uh, just let me open this up in Adobe. Um, it's about five kilometers across, by the way. This, so that gives you an idea of of um, of of size, you know, the size of the strip and that. So it's about five kilometers across here. But the first thing that I thought was very interesting was this this dome like feature um, it's supposed to be natural it's supposed to be um, something that was formed um, on the on the glacier but I, I mean I just think it's a it's a really interesting feature it's about roughly very very roughly it's about half a mile across and it it, it was just to me it seems to be quite symmetrical that was the first thing you know this side it sweeps in and the same with this side both sides are pretty much the same to be honest with you and it just it was just like the sheen of it the the, the look of it and this this front part here um, it looks as if there's been some kind of mud flow from the top but if you look very very carefully at the image there's an entrance way on it. See, right at the tip here, you can just see it now. It's um, you know, it's quite a few feet high. It's a few tens of feet high, and it comes up and then it's like a roundish area and then it comes back down again. But you know, it, it does look like an entrance way to me. And this part here looks very very strange because underneath it you can see like symmetrical patterns one here and then one here and I'm just wondering whether this has been 
placed over the front of this just to obscure um, maybe what was here but there's, there's definitely something under it but I have no idea what it was but anyway I just thought it was interesting there's like a, a platform or something that comes along here see that and hits the side of it see I, I don't know what it is there but there seems to be like um, like beams or something here I mean I call them beams but they seem to come across here but anyway I thought, it, I thought that was interesting that's what caught me eye when I first looked at this and um, as you can see it's it's a black and white image and it's really very monotone it's very two dimensional um, there's not much in the way of contrasting features but there are quite a few interesting things in it and the, the thing one of the main things that caught me eye was this area here so what I normally do was because it's as you roll in closer it starts to break down the resolution will break down on it so what what you've got to do right see see the way it breaks up like that but I could see one or two interesting little features in it that I wanted to take a closer look at so what I normally do is I will take a screenshot of this here okay and then I'll put it in magnifier and magnify um, um, with Windows 7 magnifier and when you when you put it in magnifier it acts in the in the one that I've gone on oh, this is my old machine Windows 7 it does act like a like a, a normal magnifying glass so it will magnify three four five hundred percent without actually breaking up too much um, it's 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 a really really good feature but it doesn't always work on all machines because they have a more modern much much better machine than this and it doesn't Windows magnifier doesn't work uh, very well at all on it but anyway um, so I, I'd, I've taken a shot of this area here okay and what I'm gonna do is go to it now okay so this is the the shot of that particular area and as you can see it's very one toned it's very blurred um, you can't really see any um, contrast in it because there isn't any it, it's 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 like a flat color and they do I mean as far as I'm concerned they do it deliberately because you can't make out individual features then and as you can see it looks as if it's covered in dust or sand or or maybe it's deliberate obfuscation and I'm just very very highly skeptical uh, of this particular image I think um, it was taken at a resolution of 88 centimeters which is um, two two feet 11 inches so it's 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 supposed to be an amazing um, it's supposed to be amazing image resolution and I think it should be a hell of a lot better than that you know that that to me is 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 very poor, but you can still see um, a few interesting things already, and um, this circular feature caught m caught my eye straight away, and in front of it there's um, a symmetrical square platform here or um, rectangular platform, and then there's another one here. You see that comes down that's actually L shaped that but you can't really see it because of the obfuscation and then at the bottom there's like an amphitheater type um, feature which um, I think geologists call them like corries or something like that it's like formed um, through glaciers gouging out these, 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 these particular type of forms but I think these were done millions of years before the civilization um, appeared you know started on Mars and I just think they utilized a lot of these features so this could have been filled with with water or whatever uh, you know possibly but but anyway there's a lot of anomalous um, you know there's a lot of anomalous artifacts here the circular feature this platform this one here which you can just about see 
and there's structures what's what I describe as structures all over this image this here looks very very similar to something um, what you would see in um, like uh, the Mayan civilization or something like that like uh, like, a, like a face with a with a with a helmet on you can see the body it's very very similar to something like that and in front in front of this I'll call it a statue for the time being in front of this you've got symmetrical patterns features okay you know you, you can just about see them it's like a square area here with a central um, obelisk or dome and the same here it's like a square area with a central obelisk They're virtually exactly the same and then there's um, square platforms one above one one on top of the other going all the way up here so what so that's that's that image here okay um, sorry, that's that's not the one. And this is it taken in magnifier, uh, magnifier. Okay. So what what I've had to do to bring out the features that are here is obviously um, I I put it in Photoshop, and then what I do is I just mess about with the contrast and the brightness, lower the brightness, increase the contrast <coughs> until the features come out that are here don't add nothing to it and what I'm going to do now is show the enhanced image um, which is which is this one okay like I say I haven't um, added anything to it I've just sharpened it up I've just um, increased the, the contrast lowered the brightness and as you can see what, what it's also done is it, it's made some of the darker areas even darker so you can't see that circular feature now but it doesn't matter because we've brought out these um, platforms and including this L-shaped one here can you see that so they're I think they're very anomalous you know they look very artificial very symmetrical uh, and they're over this amputated um, shape here and there's that humanoid looking figure here can you see it and you know it's got eyes and nose it's got a mouth it's it's got like what i'd describe as a, like a squarish helmet on and then there's its body and then it's got like a v um, i'm presuming these are like structures in front of it very symbolic of arms maybe there's the back its legs but it certainly looks like um some kind of artificially um, produced feature in in my humble opinion okay it, it's it's what it what it is it's it seems to be made up of structures okay structures and the eyes might be openings and the mouth might be an opening but it's done in the shape uh, the rough shape of a human being okay and it just so happens that it's looking over these symmetrical platforms i i think these are buildings see all these here all these are buildings there's buildings on top of the platform or structures on top of the, these platforms and i think this is the roof of a structure and the wall is collapsed here see where where the cursor is there's there's structures here see them one there one there there's an opening there um, and if you come across underneath the dust and the sand are multiple structures and you can just see them when I when I enhanced it they started popping out a little tiny bit it's not a problem with the the image it's not noise or artifacts or anything like that these are actually underneath the sand and if you look here very carefully you can see symmetrical um, it's like it's as if it was like a wall a building and in the center is is like an obelisk or something st standing up and it's throwing a shadow can you see it there like square and the same here that's that's virtually the same it's very deep and the walls are like you know the the, the dozens of feet high okay um, 
and you can actually see the straight lines can you see them there's like I don't you know I'm presuming the buildings and you can see all the straight lines there's like platforms look at the patterns that looks as if it's got it's got four courtyards in it and it's like it's like got a cross section on it but I'm pretty convinced that all these are all artificial because you can actually see they're not rocks are they they are not rocks you can see all the straight lines on them and like I say it's nothing to do with noise or artifacts caused through the uh, the digital image okay these are physical structures three-dimensional physical structures overlooked by this symbolic humanoid that's very reminiscent of what you might find in the, the Maya, Maya civilization or something like that in fact if I just go to image adjustments go to bright, brightness and contrast see these here I'll, I'll try and bring them up I'm just going to increase the contrast and can you see them now can you see the, the, the deep shadow in the wall it's like a courtyard isn't it and it's got a central point in it and it's square there <coughs> excuse me and again this is square with a, a road there and it's got a central point in it with a shadow and can you see see all the straight lines and but they're all buildings there's there's buildings and structures all over this okay um, so I just thought I'd show you that because I think it's very very anomalous um, it could be pareidolia but there's other parts of this image that also show very anomalous features but but I'm going to show them in another video because I don't want to I don't want to make it too long I don't want to make the videos too long guys um, because the it just takes too long to, to make them too it takes you the viewers too long to, to watch them so I, I'm gonna leave it at that I think it's a very interesting image I think there's one or two very interesting anomalies in the image I think there's a lot of artificial structures here which I can see them and I'm hoping that you can see them as well um, and I'll do like say a part two on this and show you some of the other little interesting things that I found that on the southern parts of the image okay but for the uh, you know there's a, there's a humanoid face here see that it's like carved into the um, in, in, into the rock you can see it's got an eye it's got a very strong nose and it's um, you know you, you find a lot of these a lot of these uh, humanoid faces and stuff and it's 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 amazing really it's fascinating I mean look at all these here these are all structures here see you can actually see the the, the buildings there okay then guys I'm gonna leave it at that like I say it's only gonna be a short one and um, I hope you like it and look out for part two which I'll do in the in the next couple of days and uh, thanks very much for for watching I know time is the most precious thing we have and I appreciate your time watching it and um, so I'll see you very soon guys take take care bye